Galway bounce back under Henry Sheffield and they go down to Clare and beat them by 124 to 22 points. A commanding second half performance by the tribesmen led to victory against their neighbours. But it did not look good at the start. As if 14 minutes in, Clare were eight points to one ahead. They absolutely flew out of the traps. But Galway fought back in the first half to make it a one-point game on halftime. And then they moved into the lead in the second half. In the 58th minute, Connor Whelan hit the back of the net for Galway and what proved to be probably the most crucial score of the game. Uh, Clare responded with four points in a row. But the hope of a comeback was quickly shot down by scores from Tom Monaghan and Connor Cooney. And I have to say, for Galway under Henry Shefflin, pretty much every league game they've played so far has been a completely different team. So for, for them, I think it's probably the most interesting team in the championship in terms of what starting lineup will Galway throw out. Because their team has been completely different every game they've played. And they've had pretty much a new start. Every time you've got Kevin Cooney, you've got Martin McManus, then they bring back in the likes of Connor Whelan. He didn't start, you know, against Limerick. Like it's it's gonna be really interesting to see who they actually go with. Will Evan Island be on the freeze? Will Connor Cooney be on the freeze? Like there's a lot of different variables with this Galway side. When you consider the fact that last year they were so close to beating Limerick until obviously they, you know, the bench came in and the likes of David Reedy made the difference. Now Galway's bench looks way stronger and I think Shefflin will be absolutely delighted with how this league campaign has gone. For Clare, they'll definitely be disappointed that they didn't win the game considering that at one stage they were seven points up. I know that was only 14 minutes in and, you know, seven points is not a big lead in the game of hurling, but no, they will be kind of disappointed that they didn't take the result here. But again, I don't think Clare care too much about the league. They've already flexed how much they can score, you know, the beating that they put on Wexford last week. They've already shown the attacking prowess that they have. And to be able to rack up eight points in 14 minutes shows it again. But they just switched off for the rest of the game and uh, let Galway get the crucial scores at the crucial times. Um, I think a matchup between these two in championship would be absolutely fascinating, though.